going on guys? Um, well, a bit of a different video. Today I did the transmission, or well, didn't do the transmission, I pulled apart the transmission today and inside here, as you can see, there's not much in here. Yep, there you go, there's a light. There's <laughs> not much left, it's all scattered throughout the car. Uh, as you can see, it's all just bare at the moment. Um, well, what I did today was I dumped the transmission oil on the Pajero. And as you can see here, this was the old oil. I just picked that up. So you can't really, it's like horrible and there's no resistance at it at all. Like it's pretty much water. That's the old oil. And this is the new oil. As you can see, it's a lot more nicer. If I go like that, and go like that, see there's a big difference between the oils. That one here has a lot more resistance. This oil has barely any, it's just, it's like water. So, um, I think that's what some of the noise was that was left in the gearbox after I've done the, tram, the thrust bearing. Uh, as you can see there, you can, yeah, you can quite clearly see there, this is the old oil, this is the new oil, this is the new oil here. Um, I just put this in it for today. I'm going to run that for a little while. Clean the box out, dump the oil again, and then put some nice expensive fresh stuff in. But, yeah, just a quick video on what that's like. It smells too like burnt diff oil. Where this one smells nice. No, not nice, but it smells fresh. It doesn't smell burnt. Where this one here, yeah, whew, that smells like burnt out diff oil. So it's either they've used the wrong oil or this is just the original oil. So if it is the original oil, this thing, this oil has 400,000 Ks on it. Yeah, so as you can see, you can't even, see if I hold it over this, you can't even see through it. It's pretty bad. When I pulled the plug out on this thing here, when I actually pulled the plug and pulled it out, the plug has like a little magnet probably, say about that long. And the whole thing was just coated in like a thick paste, like that thick around it, in just metal shavings. So that's why I've put some of the cheap um, Castrol manual AD weight in, just to run that through and pick up all the crap that's left in the box. I'm going to run it for a little while and then dump that oil out with the shit that's still left in the, pardon my language, the crap that's still left in the box. And then I'm hoping that it that does the trick and it's no more, no more noise. I'm just hoping that it, it, like I said, that is the noise and that um, all it needs is good servicing. If we get in and have a look, I don't think I can actually show you properly, but um, to get this centerpiece here off, this bit, take the ashtray out, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, just the ashtray out. Then that will come out. But to get that off, you need to unbolt this, which is the center console. Mm, that's the cup holder, you don't want to see that. Down in there, there's two screws there, and then there's two screws down in there. Then this here just unclips, and you pull that off, pull it backwards, out of here. Then this here just all unclips. You've got one plug that controls everything right here, which is there. Then you've got the two screws up here on either side to unbolt. And then this will just pull off. And then you have to undo your gear gear knobs or your gear stick knobs or whatever you want to call them, whatever part of the world you're from. As you can see, that just unscrews. Both of them just unscrewed. On mine, this one here, the whole thing was twisting, as you can see. The whole thing twists. I think there's something actually wrong with my shifter, my box shifter. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So I actually had to hold the shaft and then undo the four-wheel drive super select gear shifter knob thing. Um, I don't know where the little... Oh, there it is. Put that back on there. For now, these can actually go back on because I still do need to drive it, but I'm going to leave all that off for now because in about a, two or three days, I'm going to have to take the, this shifter back off and I don't want to have to undo all of this again just to you know pull it all off again put this one back on and yeah i took the cb out and everything because the cb actually sits down in this bit here on there 
and then it holds the CV in there. But yeah, then to fill the transmission up on this, all I did was undid, it's pretty dirty, but you, I don't know if you can see, but that bolt there, and that bolt there, and that bolt there, and that bolt there. Them four, and then this whole shifter just pulls out. Then you can see straight down into the box, and you can fill it up from there. Make sure your drain plug too on the side of your box is actually off and out, so then you can keep checking that to see if it's, as soon as the oil starts coming out the filler hole, that's when you know you're good. Oh, what happened here? Oh, flashlight's disabled. So yeah, that's that. Um, that's about it for today. That's, oh, another, I might as well run through the things I've done to it so far. As you can see, I've painted the bonnet. Um, matte black. Same with the wheels. I painted them matte black. I don't know how much of that you can actually see. I'll try the other side. Yeah, that's a bit better. Wheels matte black. And if we go back here, I've also done something else that's, I don't know if it's silly or whatever, but I don't know how much you can see, because my interior light doesn't work. It's a bit annoying. But that there is a 1200 watt fusion sub with a 1000 watt amp just there. I'll run through this in a different video when it's a bit more light because the lighting in here is not the best but yeah that's about it for today guys um, thanks for watching leave a like and a comment and I'll see you in the next one bye